communicating with Mr. Jackson's computer. Well done, Clyde. You're not as stupid as you pretend to be, are you? Yeah, well, when it comes to pretending, you take the biscuit. We thought you were on our side. I'm a Zylock. I'm not on anybody's side. I have my purpose. As for your interference, it is of minimal inconvenience. Sarah Jane can't stop me achieving that purpose. And soon you will play your part in it. But now your communications are terminated. I don't know, could Mr. Smith have some sort of connection with this living? I mean, where did he come from? Biggest volcanic eruption civilization has ever seen. Eighteen months ago, when I was researching volcanic activity, a geologist friend sent me a crystal from the site of Krakatoa. The crystal had become quite a curiosity among geologists. They'd never seen anything like it. Neither had I. But they didn't see what I did. It was as if the crystal was communicating with my laptop. Using it to communicate with me. It was a memory cell from a spacecraft that crashed millions of years ago. <coughs> its computing power, its knowledge, it was phenomenal. It told me amazing things. It said it could help me keep track of alien life form coming to Earth. It could help protect the Earth. But our technology was too limited. And so it designed. And it created. Mr. Smith. 